Okay, here we are. We're going to start with the Doodlebug engine, the 6.5. Um, we're going to start here because this is the most complicated part of the build. We want to make sure that um, you don't mess up anything here because you'll have a hard time putting it back together. So I'm going to go through every nut and bolt on this engine that you'll have to alter to uh, make the whole kit work. And um, normally my videos are intended for people that ride uh, motocross bikes that are somewhat wrenching already with their bikes so if you're a beginner this will be the video for you to watch because um, I'll take it step by step so anyone can do it even a even an aspiring young mechanic a kid who wants to um, work on his own doodle bug because his dad doesn't have enough time um, follow this step by step and you'll be able to uh, to do it so the first thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to strip off um, the air filter housing the gas tank and the side cover here um, uh, so that we can get at the core parts of the engine. So I'm going to start by um, taking off the air filter on the top and um, I'll warn you this video is probably going to be many 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 parts and it'll be one of my longer series of videos on something but um, it is it is a lot to do on an engine it's a lot to, uh, to get it together. So, okay, we so go. we took off the outer cover, which is really just a plastic thing. You know, they could have put the vents on this side and then made this whole section extra gas tank for a little bit more space, but oh well. So we're gonna take off um, this big wing nut and uh, we'll come back to the next section. Okay, so we've taken off the air filter. Now we're gonna undo these screws right here and I'm gonna show you my coolest screwdriver ever. Check this out. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it. Hey, don't. This is from Home Depot. I got this, I think, for about 12 bucks. That is the coolest screwdriver, and it has all the different bits in it. And you just rotate it and pop up whatever you need, and you know, really cool item. <laughs> I bought it as a gift item for my son, and it found its way back into my toolbox. I'll have to get him something else because I've used it so many times. You know, I have really expensive screwdrivers, but I wind up using this thing all the time, so it's handy. But um, so we're going to take off these screws here and um, split the, the plate. There's like a little plate between the carburetor and here. And we're just gonna undo these. And, um, sorry, I'm the cameraman and the, uh, and, the, and the mechanic. And we have to undo this bolt here too. So there's the two screws. So I'm gonna put those aside and label them. Okay, so I've loosened this bolt here on top of the air filter with a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to take this little piece off it splits the top half of the air cleaner and now we're getting into the intake plenum for the carburetor so we're going to have to take that off and um, i'd eventually like to take the gas tank off but the only way to get in there is um, by taking off the linkage which we're going to have to do so we'll take off the throttle linkage and the carburetor bolts here next and we'll label those and put them aside and um, uh, we're going to take remove the whole Linkage. There's a bolt right down in here on the top of your little Harbor Freight engine there, the Greyhound engine, and there's a bolt over here, and um, we're going to remove this linkage plate, and then it'll, it'll allow us to get it, this little hiding bolt back here for the uh, gas tank, and there's a couple on the other side for the gas tank. So let me take off the linkage and we'll come back, and you do the same. Okay, so I've taken those two throttle plate bolts out, and I'm not just yanking it out of here because there's a spring underneath it. Can you see when you, I'm turning it upside down? Let me clarify this. See how it's sitting like that on the engine? Okay, I've, well this is underneath there actually, this little part there. So I've taken that out and I'm twisting it over and underneath, you see that little spring right there? Little tiny wire. I'm gonna undo that so I can get the throttle plate off all, all the way, okay? Okay, so we have the throttle, throttle plate out of the way and we have this little spring just resting on the side now. And there was a bolt, oh, I'm sorry, uh, right here there was a bolt. And um, on the other side of the gas tank, there are two bolts right here. I've left them partially in just so you can see. Oops, we'll have to get that one after <laughs> that one there. And we're gonna unscrew those. And um, the gas tank should be free, minus probably a pipe under there. Uh, there she is, a little pipe right in there. So we're gonna figure out how to disconnect that pipe and whatever else is holding it here. 
seems a little stuck on this side. Oh, it's just stuck on the metal. So underneath it, you see the little clamp? I'm gonna undo that clamp and then we'll have the gas tank um, loose and ready to uh, remove. Okay, so the next step in disassembly is um, to get rid of this governor arm here. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to, um, let me fix my camera. There we go, a little more focus there. I'm gonna remove this nut and I'm gonna take this off of the shaft and then follow this along. You see the spring that's right there. I'm gonna remove the spring from here. The spring slides along the shaft and to hold this in place. And then I'm gonna just kind of move it that way and take it out of here. So I will remove this right now and we'll come back. So there so we go. Next now, step. The, our, now our next step in degovernorizing the, yes, I just made up that word. <laughs> um, our engine is um, to put a 19 millimeter socket on this nut in there and we're going to loosen off the uh, the fan and the, um, the the starter piece that the starter engages into and we're going to eventually take off this uh, this flywheel here and expose the back of it because the other end of this pin that's in the engine that our, remember our governor rod came off of it um, is behind here so we have to take this off so that we can drive out drive out the uh, uh, the shaft for the governor and then we're going to uh, go to the other side of the engine and remove we're going to remove the case and then go inside the engine and actually take out those little pieces then put things back together but let's go for now i'm going to undo this bolt and i'm going to use an impact driver um, because it's going to be a little bit easier um, uh, and faster so here we are and i'll do that okay we'll um, just to warn you it took a little bit more than my um, uh, uh, electric ratchet would do to take this off. So what I did was I slipped a pair of pointy nose pliers against this little uh, stem right there and I put those in there and I put the flywheel against it while holding it <laughs> so that it can rotate. There, it's in place, see? Held that nice and straight, and then I put my put my ratchet in there and broke that bolt. There's quite a bit of torque on that bolt, so now I can put my ratchet on there and take it off no problems. But you have to do the initial break of the flywheel really tight, tighter than it should have been. Um, so not too bad, but you just have to brace it a little differently than zapping it with the gun. Okay, so once you've taken off this nut, I took off the starter ring that was on there. Now I'm going to take off the um, fan. It's only a little plastic fan. You see these little holes right here? There's little uh, nipples on the back of this thing that um, those sit in. So when you put it back together, you have to make sure those are lined up and it'll sit flush on there, see? And these little holes go into the starter ring to keep the fan from spinning on the line. And then we have the exposed, fly, exposed flywheel. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this nut Great if you have a flywheel puller big enough for this guy. I do not, and um, I don't do a lot of small engine work, as I say, mostly motorcycles. Um, but um, I'm going to put this nut back on here, almost flush with the top, but just a little bit above it so I can't hit the nut. And I'm going to put a screwdriver behind here, and I'm going to put some pressure on it. And I'm going to put the pressure so that this is moving upwards and away from here. And um, then I'm going to give it a few good quick whacks with a hammer, with a dead blow hammer, um, such, as my, such as my snap on one here. It's been with me for many, many years. And um, I'm going to give it a good wrap on there and it should break the, um, the, 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 the fit that's on there. They're both V'd. So you have to move it this way uh, uh, and break the V break the, 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 the friction from the V to get the flywheel off and then it should pop right off. Okay, so what I've done is I'm taking a pry bar. I'm gonna put it underneath the edge here and just put some upwards pressure on it and give it a tap here. It pops right up. Okay, so now we have the flywheel off and um, you're probably looking at your engine saying, oh my, Goodness, it's in many, many pieces, and I don't know if I'll ever put it back together, but you will, don't worry. Um, so the next step 
we're going to do is this little pin right here, you can see this looks like a bolt hole over here. Um, ignore these guys. It's this one little one. See the little rib that comes off the shaft here? That's the back side of the governor shaft. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a punch and we're going to drive that right inside and disengaging it um, from the top. And then we're going to go around to the other side and take off the engine case and remove the pieces that fell off. So um, I might, I think, take the other side off beforehand just so I can see what's going on inside of this engine. I don't want any of the pieces to get lost in the engine. So I can keep account of it. Maybe put some rags around it before I knock it apart. So let me flip the engine over.